absolute mad lad. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and yes, that's right, some things here are a little bit different in more ways than one. I was on holidays in Japan, and I also spent about two weeks moving house, so we're finally set up, everything's ready to go, and um, something else happened as well that I might touch on just quickly before we jump into today's video. One of my videos, for some reason, went semi-viral, I guess? Like, somebody had watched my ASMR video, and they turned it into a meme, and they posted it on Reddit, and when memes are on Reddit, people uh, see them, and a week later, here we are, and, uh, yeah, I can't really believe it, actually. It all happened very, very quickly, but uh, everybody's been really, really nice to me over this week, and um, I'm very grateful for all my new subs, all my new viewers, so welcome to the channel if you are new. Uh, hopefully, you guys stick around and enjoy the content that I can provide to you, and hopefully, we can all have a little bit of a laugh together. Um, but if this is the video that sends you way over the edge, and you said, no, nah, that's it, I want out, this was a bad idea, I don't blame you, and uh, I think that's it. Let's jump into to today's video. One of the biggest channels on YouTube that a lot of you might know is 5 Minute Crafts. Fun DIY projects, craft, experience the joy of doing it yourself, official channel. But today I noticed something very, very, very concerning Ooh. and we need to address it right now. It seems to me that 5 Minute Crafts is actually telling the youth of today that you don't have to study, don't worry about it. Life is gonna fix itself. And you can spend all that time you should be studying, playing video games, or watching TikToks, or skating, or um, vaping, pretty much stuff that I do now as an adult. And they did so with this video, 37 Funny Cheating Hacks. Uh, so dumb. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. Okay, son, how's your studying going? Yeah. Uh, why is your why is your iPhone floating? Why why is why is your phone attached to this string that's attached to the door? Bruh. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, first of all, um, these children, I'm gonna say children because they look at least 54 years old. These children, uh, they didn't get very good grades, did they? We can, we can see that. Normally when you get a bad grade, you, you're like, oh, you know, well, uh, I tried. Maybe I could take this as a lesson. I'll go back, I'll study, I'll work hard, I'll try next time. Not these kids, no, no, these kids are way smarter than that. They decided to cheat. Now, it does seem a little bit suspicious that uh, they're using the pretty much the exact same marker that the teacher used on their sheet to alter the scores. Um, so a little bit fishy there. And number two, I feel like this is only really done so the kids can take their test home, show the parents, and the parents won't make them sleep outside or do dishes for the next 47 years. Uh, because I feel like the teacher already knows what their marks are. The teacher already knows. Okay, first of all, very, very dangerous. I would not recommend anyone under the age of 18 do what this person's doing. Hmm, I like the idea, but I feel like you're gonna get caught cheating straight away. You've gotta like, pull something out of your pen and hope that no one sees you? Like, is that actually realistic? Uh, I don't- I don't know. I don't know. This one? <laughs> oh my god. So this one apparently only works if you don't drink all the Coca-Cola. For me personally, when I buy a Coca-Cola or any kind of beverage, um, I'm not carrying it around for half a day. I am... I'm guzzling that down so quick that I would have no use 
for this one at all. And also, I'm pretty sure you can still see the writing on the bottle, even with the black delicious sugary liquid inside. So if you're a Mountain Dew drinker or you're like me, you like to stay hydrated and you stay on that H2O grind, um, sorry, I guess you've got no choice but to actually learn. You see that? Imagine doing that in class. Uh, uh, okay, uh, yep. Yep. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm so gonna pass this. I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Timmy. Um, just a quick question. Are we in the box cutting class? Um, no, no. Then why have you got a box cutter in your pencil case? Tell me that. Yeah, what, what are you planning to do with that, huh? You, you, you're gonna try me? Are you gonna try me? Come on. I dare you. Bring it on. So aside from bringing a weapon to school and uh, possibly getting expelled, um, I guess this is pretty good. That's, that's, yeah. Look, this one I'm not too mad about, to be honest. This one kind of makes sense because it's very inconspicuous. So you can literally just go, oh, 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 oh. It's very low risk, high reward, whereas some of the others are like, the risk is like up here and the reward is like expulsion or Alcatraz. This one, so obviously cheating. You're so gonna get caught, what's the point? Like, what kind of cheating was going on there? You, you, you put your bag on a chair. What? So the hack itself, great. That's one of the oldest cheating hacks in the book. We've seen that plenty of times. Oh, in the book. <laughs> but what's on that phone? What is he watching? So he's clearly in like a science class, okay? So you think that if he wants to cheat, he might look up some test answers or some formulas or even a video of like some dude with crazy hair pouring colored liquids into bottles, but he's just watching a girl sitting on the ground. I don't understand. How is that cheating? And again, it's the same thing. The teacher's going to be like, oh, hang on. I didn't write that. Um, look, see, I've got a record of it. You, you've cheated. You're out of the school. Go. You're on the street. Now, I'm pretty sure we actually did leave the dumbest of them all until last. Like, there have been some good ones. There have been some bad ones. There have been ones that I didn't mention because they make sense. And what's the point of doing a video if you can't laugh at all of them? But this one is the dumbest by far. Let's have a look. That. Hey, bro, do you know that they make sharpeners that have those little compartments that hold the shavings in them anyway? And they're not made out of a matchbox? Also, who uses matches? 
Like, we're all about those e-cigarettes now. Like, nobody even carries matches in the first place. Go buy a proper sharpener and your life will just be so much better. So there we go, everyone. That is the end of this video. Uh, this was good because I was able to shake off a little bit of the YouTube rust, get back in the flow of it. So there's more videos coming on a more consistent basis very, very soon. And to all my fellow mad lads out there, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!